Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can manage your mono repos uh, with a tool called Lerna. So let's start by understanding what a mono repo is. So if you just go by the words, uh, mono means single and repos means repository, which means you have a single repository to manage multiple NPM modules. And if you want to read more about uh, mono repos and how they are actually used, uh, what all uh, repositories actually use such kind of architecture you can go to uh, Babel's github repository and you can read more about it uh, Babel react are some of the famous repositories that use uh, such architecture uh, of mono repo so to go over some of the pros uh, it has single linting build testing and release process uh, it is easier to coordinate changes across the modules since all the modules are present inside a single repository. Again, it, it serves as a single place to report issues. Uh, it's easier to set up a development environment uh, to debug the issues and run any tests that you might have. Right. So these are uh, many pros that you have for having a monorepo architecture. So now what we are going to do is in this video, I'm going to create a monorepo uh, repository on my local, uh, create some packages and show you how Lerna can be used to manage that monorepo. So to do that, I have created a directory called Lerna demo and inside this directory, I'm going to initialize a Lerna repository. And before we do that, you need to make sure Lerna is installed on your machine. You can install Lerna by uh, executing command npm install minus g Lerna. And this should install the latest version of Lerna in your machine. Uh, and uh, you can verify that the Lerna is installed by running Lerna version. And this should give you the latest version uh, of Lerna that is uh, installed on your machine. So once that is done, you can just execute Lerna in it. And this should uh, initialize a Lerna monorepo uh, directory structure in your current directory. So if you do a tree, you can see it creates uh, three uh, files slash folders. You have Lerna.json file, package.json file. And then finally, you have packages where your actual packages will reside. Currently, it does not have any packages, but what we will do next is we will uh, create uh, multiple packages inside this. So what we will do is we will create three packages. One is addition module, which will have a uh, logic to add two numbers. Then we'll have subtraction module, which will have logic to subtract two numbers. Then we'll have a third module called calc module or calculator module that will have dependencies on uh, the addition module and subtraction module and it will use uh, both of these modules to print some of the stuff, right? So let's go ahead and start doing that. So to do that, go to packages directory. And now here we need to create three packages. So let's start by creating addition module. You can go to addition module. Now here you can do npm minus y in it to initialize this folder as an npm package. Uh, notice that it expects a file called index.js, which is its main file, which we will be creating in some time. But uh, just for the sake of completion, let's go ahead and create all the modules that we have. So let's create subtraction module now. Go to subtraction module, again to npm minus y in it. And similarly, we'll create another package called calc module. We'll do a similar thing here and we have the three packages now so if we now do a tree here you can see that the directory structure is packages and then we have three modules right so let's go ahead and uh okay did we not go in calc module so let's just go to calc module cd packages let's just remove package.json from here uh, we need it in calc module so Let's just do an npm minus y in it here. And let's go to root directory of Lerna and do a tree here. So that's the directory structure that we have. You have Lerna.json, package.json, the root level. Then you have packages. Then we have three uh, packages, addition module, calc module, and subtraction module. Each has package.json. So now what we will do is we will go ahead and create index.js file in each of these directories uh, as the package.json expects. 
to do that uh, I have uh, opened it up in sublime text so let's go to packages let's start with addition module so create a new file uh, let's just save it and call index.js and here what we will do is we will say module.exports.add is a function it takes two arguments and it returns x plus y so let's do a similar thing uh, in subtraction module again I will call it index.js as it expects in package.json and we'll just make it subtract and return x minus y now in calc module uh, what we will do is uh, again we'll do a similar thing obviously I will save it as index.js however here uh, we want to reuse the code that is there in the other two modules right so we have to do two things over here first we need to define uh, a dependency of this module on addition module and subtraction module and the second thing that we want to do is actually use uh, import those two packages and then use it in this package right so to do that you can just say addition module is equal to require uh, addition module and similarly we are going to do the same for subtraction module and there we go let's just make sure that uh, our names are correct so yep that's correct let's verify the subtraction module as well all right so this looks good so now let's go ahead and print something up we'll just see add 4 plus 5 and we'll just see addition module dot add 4 comma 5 and let's do the same for subtract and subtract we let's see 5 minus 4 and uh, instead of addition module we will use subtraction module and the function is subtract and 5 minus 4 so let's just quickly verify that uh, our function is correct there we go and for addition it was add which is this all right so our code is ready so we can execute it uh, the only thing that is remaining is to add dependency of addition module and subtraction module on in the calc module uh, that we have but before we do that I'm just gonna try to execute it and show that it fails so you can do node packages calc module index.js and you can see it says cannot find addition module and that is because uh, it does not have a dependency yet and also we have not used learner to uh, interlink the dependencies right so let's go ahead and add the dependencies here so you can add dependencies tag here I'm just gonna copy it from my blog where I have already written it so you can just copy it here just make sure that uh, the name is correct and in, in the places uh, in both the places addition as well as subtraction module right and the version is correct as well which is 1.0.0 so if you go to package.json of addition module you can see the name and the version right here so now that we have uh, our dependencies in place now what you can do is you can go to the root directory and execute uh, learner bootstrap but before you do that I just want to show you the directory structure one more time so you can see that uh, you have packages then you have three different packages that we have uh, each has package.json and index.js right so now let's go ahead and run learner bootstrap okay looks like we did something wrong in our package oh that's the comma that's the extra comma that we have added so let's go ahead and do it one more time and you can see that it has uh, it is successful this time it has been successfully able to bootstrap three packages simplink them uh, so if you do a tree now uh, you can see that inside calc module uh, it has created a folder called node modules and there are two dependencies addition module and subtraction module that it has added which is again symbling to the local addition module and subtraction module that we have locally right so now if we go ahead and try to run this uh, you can see that uh, okay so let's it looks like console is not a function so let's go back to our okay 
so it's console.log and not just console so you can try to execute this one more time and there we go you can see add 4 plus 5 is 9 and subtract 5 minus 4 is 1 so this works right so that's how you can use Lerna to uh, manage your uh, repository with multiple modules and manage the interdependencies to make it work so let me uh, go through this uh, one more time so you install Lerna first, which installs, creates files, Lerna.json, uh, package.json, and an empty packages directory. Then all the packages that you have will go under addition modules, calc module, subtraction module, and each module will obviously have a package.json uh, and index.js file. And once you have the structure ready, you can run uh, Lerna bootstrap at the root level which will uh, automatically take care of your dependencies it will kind of uh, link uh, interdependencies of your modules and make sure everything works and once that is done uh, you can directly execute uh, the index.js file or any runnable script that you have and the dependencies are already taken care by Lerna right so you can also use uh, other uh, functions like Lerna publish to publish your packages to npm repository but again that's when you want to publish it right so this should suffice for you to create a local repository uh, uh, which is of type monorepo and create multiple packages in it and manage uh, its uh, creation uh, dependencies and publishing so that's how uh, you use Lerna uh, let me know if you have any questions thank you